Hello, I am Ariel from the Tempo support team and welcome to this quick guide on how to migrate your Atlassian Jira and Tempo timesheets data from the server to the cloud. But first, I would like to introduce you to tempo.io slash server migration guide. Here you will find very important information on your migration process, like why migrate to the cloud, the product comparison between server and cloud, the steps you should take to do your migration, Tempo's REST API in case you need it, and the promotions to migrate your license to the cloud. For the demo of today, we will use this server environment. It has two projects, two Tempo teams, two accounts, and a few work logs. Also, we'll use this empty cloud instance. For the demo of today, we will use the backup restore method, but this migration can also be done through the Atlassian Migration Assistant. To create a backup of your server instance, go to Administration, System, then go to Backup System, choose a name for your file, and click Backup. Once your backup file is done, you can go to your cloud instance and import it by going to Settings, System, Restore System, Import Data, choose your file, and open. Depending on the size of your server instance, this process might take a while. After the backup file is uploaded, you can now run the import, which will override all the information you have on your cloud Jira with the information you imported from your server Jira. This includes projects, issues, attachments, configurations, and the work log information of your users. This will also take some time depending on the size of your cloud of your Jira backup. When your import process is complete, you can then install your Tempo plugins in the cloud. Once the plugins are installed, Tempo will start to synchronize your information after a few hours. Now it's time to check the permissions of the plugin. In our documentation, you can check the project permissions and global permissions Tempo needs to work correctly and we need to make sure that these are applied. In the backup restore or using the current migration assistant from Atlassian, the information that you will migrate for Tempo is the work logs of your users. The other information from Tempo you will need to migrate either manually or through the Tempo API. Information like uh, holiday schemes, workload schemes, teams, accounts. This needs to be migrated separately and you can find on our documentation the steps you should take to migrate each information either manually or using the API. Now let me guide you through the two most common issues that you might find during your migration process, what you can do to prevent them and how to fix them. First, let's talk about time zone problems, and to prevent this, please always be sure that your server and cloud instances have the same time zone set before either pulling your backup from server or importing it to the cloud. You can read more about this in the best practices to prepare for migration section of our migration documentation. Now, about synchronization. After installing your Tempo plugins in the cloud, your work logs will start to synchronize with Tempo Cloud in about a couple hours. If after 24 hours you don't see your work logs in the cloud, 
please contact Temple Support so we can troubleshoot the problem. Thank you for watching our quick guide and we hope you have a great migration.